Welcome back everybody, Upgrade Guy here. So in this video, we're gonna be continuing with our Fire Stick tutorial series where we're teaching how to improve performance, how to optimize the settings, and how to do things on it you didn't even know you could do on your Fire Stick to start with. So with your Fire Stick remote, I know a lot of people in the past have complained about it, I personally don't mind it, but one thing it is missing compared to the generic Android boxes is that toggle mouse function where you can actually put a mouse on the screen and move it around with the buttons in order to click things in apps that you can't click without it. Some of the third party apps, for whatever reason, depending on the device, don't let you click the upper row. So you'll see the upper row where it says different settings and things like that. And you need a mouse mode in order to do that. If you don't want to buy the converter for the Fire Stick in order to use a USB remote, then of course this will be your best choice to use a USB mouse toggle on your Fire Stick remote. Now this process is fairly quick, so don't worry guys, it does not take too long at all. Like always guys, smash that subscribe button down below. It helps the content out a ton. Give this video a big thumbs up. It actually helps with YouTube's algorithm. So if you like my channel guys, it's a small way of supporting me. And then also comment down below which Fire Stick you're using or what kind of Fire Stick video you want me to make in the future for you. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, so to start off this process, like I said, it will be super quick or as quick as I can make it. So just stick around and let's get through this together. And you'll also have to know how to use the, the app itself. So I wanna make sure I can walk you through that because there's something you need to do in order to get it active. So this is the new Amazon uh, interface. So if you don't have this, it might look a little bit different. So we're gonna wanna scroll to the right and find find, and then just press search. Uh, if you wanna use your Amazon talk, of course you can do that as well. We're gonna type in downloader. Now downloader is just a free browser pretty much that lets you download APKs directly on your Fire Stick. Uh, it's super simple and easy to use. And I'm sure some of you has, have used it before. It has a mouse toggle, um, but you can't use it outside of the app. So of course that's why we're getting the mouse toggle that we can use on every other app. Let's go ahead and press download. So this will just take a few seconds. So just be patient while it's downloading. If you noticed, uh, my Fire Stick kind of looks like it's lagging. It's not, I'm just streaming it from the Fire Stick to my PC and then recording it. So it looks a little uh, jumbled, but this is the best way to do it for these videos. Uh, so it just looks a little laggy, that's all. Not a big deal. So instead of opening it, you're actually gonna press home and we're gonna go to the settings menu really quick. And we're just gonna activate a few things that are gonna save us a few seconds later on in the video. We wanna scroll down and then find My Fire TV, just right there, click that. We're then gonna to go to Developer Options and go to Install Unknown Apps. And what we wanna do is turn on Downloader, and this is gonna let our let Downloader download APKs off the internet pretty much, uh, easiest way to explain that. And then ADD, ADB debugging has to be turned on in order to use mouse toggle. So yours was probably off, just click on, not a big deal. Uh, perfectly safe to use with the mouse toggle app. So now we're gonna press the home button again and go all the way back. Now you wanna find your downloader app. It's in either in your apps or on this main page. Uh, so mine is just right here, or you can go back to find and then also search it there. I find this new interface is super annoying to use. So just uh, do whatever trick you have in order to get to the application. We're gonna press allow, and then we're gonna press okay. And then from here, we wanna to go to this scroll bar right here. And this is where we can search for different websites. So we're gonna to wanna to type in mouse. And I will also put this on the screen uh, in big letters to try to help some of you out that might not be able to follow this fast um, or that want a visual. So mouse toggle, T-O-G-G-L-E. And then we wanna do space again. And we wanna do fire stick. I C K. I hate typing with this Fire Stick remote. And we're gonna do space one more time and type in APK. And that is just the type of install file for Android devices. And then we'll press go. Now there is a lot of options on here and I've seen other methods um, in order to get this, but I think this is the best way of doing it uh, for this video to last and be relevant long-term. Uh, so it doesn't stop working for you if I give you guys another method. So once this is loaded, we're just gonna to wanna to actually scroll down past these first few links, and it should be about halfway down. You're gonna see download apk.net mouse toggle for Fire TV. I find this is a super trusted site, guys, so 
Um, no worries in terms of that. And it will just take a few seconds to load. When you're using the downloader app, guys, try not to spam the OK button. It does load kind of slow, but I promise you it will get there. Uh, spamming it just messes things up and then you'll start clicking things you didn't even know was there. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll down until we find download APK now. It should be pretty close to the top and we're gonna press that. And this will take us to one more screen and then we're gonna press, oh, we're gonna scroll up again and we're gonna press download APK one more time and we'll click that. And now this is gonna start actually downloading the APK onto our device, as you can see here. And then it should go right into auto installing it right here, perfect. And then if it didn't, you can just press install outside. And we're gonna press install. And then we're gonna delete this file just to save some face on our Fire Stick and not have the device bloated. So we're gonna press delete. And that's just the install file, it's not the actual app. Go ahead and press your home button and scroll all the way to the right until you get to the App Store. And just click on it. Just takes a few seconds to catch up there. Okay, and then we wanna actually just scroll to App Library, and then you scroll all the way down, and you're gonna find your most recent installed apps near the bottom. So you can see mouse toggle is this one with the two blue arrows kind of circling. We're gonna press that. So now inside of the mouse toggle apps, you'll see a couple things here that we can change. So you can enable and disable the mouse service. So if we disable it, it's gonna say stopping. Okay, so that's simple to re-enable it. So this, would, this is what we needed before. So if this pops up, you wanna press always allow and then okay, that's just for the mouse toggle app. We can go back up and enable it at any time. So this is more if it's getting annoying and you're activating it by accident. Uh, this will make it a ton easier. Uh, you can just shut it off when you don't want to use it at all. Uh, ADB settings. So this is if, let's say, for whatever reason you had it on, but it, the mouse toggle still isn't working. Sometimes once this app is installed, you have to turn ADB bu debugging off and then turn it back on. Um, and then if your ADB debugging, wow, I'm having trouble saying that, was off, it will tell you right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually teach you how to use the mouse toggle itself. So let's get into that. So let's press the home button and I'm gonna show you in the Netflix app so then you guys don't have to see um, <laughs> what, what I watch on Netflix, I guess, but this would mostly be used for third-party apps. So really the functionality isn't um, as useful inside of YouTube. Uh, and then in terms of on your Fire Stick home screen, you can't use it on the main Amazon interface, but only inside of apps. So not a super big deal, but uh, just if you were thinking you could use it on the home screen, you can't. So not a big deal. So let's open up YouTube. All right, now I will put up on the screen what button I'm pressing right now, but what you're gonna be pressing uh, is the play button twice, the play slash stop button. So it's right below the home button. You're gonna press that twice once we open up YouTube. And that's gonna put the mouse toggle on the screen. So I'll show you guys here just in one second. So we're gonna press that twice. And now you see this little blue halo on the screen and we can easily move it around with the up, down, left and right arrows. And you would use it just like normal. So we would just, if we wanna pick a show, we would click on that with the OK button and you're good to go. That would start loading up and you could see it right here. Now, if you wanna get rid of the mouse toggle, what you'd wanna do is hold down the play slash uh, stop button and that will get rid of it. And now you have access to your remote like normal again. So it really is that simple to toggle it on and off and you can see it's disappeared already. Uh, and it makes it super simple uh, to use third-party apps that might not give you access to certain menus, or if you just like using a mouse toggle, not a problem as well. So it really is that simple, guys, to turn on and off. Uh, really awesome little feature inside this simple app. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. Uh, you know how much I appreciate it. Make sure you click that subscribe button down below if you didn't. Uh, if not, give this video a big thumbs up anyways. And guys, also make sure you check out our Facebook support group. It's just down linked down in the description. It's completely free, and you can ask the community personalized questions about your device and they'll get back to you and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I will catch you guys in the next video.